Hey everybody and welcome back to another video here at Whiteboard Doctor. We appreciate you checking it out. Today we are going to do another video in our ventilator series or invasive mechanical ventilation or mechanical ventilation, uh, all things ventilators. And we're going to do kind of an introductory video just to the introductory settings on the ventilator, um, aka the PEEP or positive end expiratory pressure, the tidal volume, the inspiratory pressure, uh, which is sometimes referred to as the pressure control above the PEEP, the respiratory rate, and the fraction of inspired oxygen. So if you don't know what any of these words mean, this video is maybe for you. Um, we do want to do a quick shout out to the channel. Uh, we have a whole bunch of ventilator and respiratory videos. This is our pulmonology page on the channel, The Whiteboard Doctor. Uh, lots of things on all things ventilators and pulmonology, and we even have three or four more ventilator videos that uh, we're going to be uploading shortly that aren't on this yet. So definitely check that out. Subscribe, hit the bell button. We appreciate you all. With with no further ado, quick 30 second break for the introduction and we'll see you right back. Hello everyone and welcome to another video here at Whiteboard Doctor. Thanks for joining us today. Here at Whiteboard Doctor, our mission is to provide you with free, interesting, relevant, understandable medical education and news for all types of lifelong learners, trainees, and practitioners. We have weekly videos that we debut Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time with bonus medical education videos posted throughout the week. We'd love for you to join the Whiteboard Doctor community and follow along by hitting the subscribe button located in the bottom right-hand corner. We also encourage all likes and comments, even if it is just to say hello. All our video descriptions contain links for additional related videos that might be interesting, so don't forget to check those out. And lastly, a quick disclaimer, none of these videos are intended to be acted upon as medical advice. Please pause the video here and read this disclaimer its entirety before moving on. With no further ado, stay well, keep learning, and let's get to the video. All right, thanks for sticking around. So uh, introductory settings on the ventilator. Um, some of this is ventilator mode dependent, uh, but let's just start with, let's just say you have a patient, uh, stick figure person number one, who unfortunately has a really bad pneumonia, um, so they end up on a ventilator. Um, what that means is they have an endotracheal tube, right? It goes into their mouth, down into their trachea, and hopefully sits right in the trachea above the carina, and you have their lungs here. This is a beautiful picture. This is anatomically accurate. Y'all are welcome. And that endotracheal tube is hooked up to a ventilator by tubing, and that ventilator uh, pumps air in and out of that patient's lungs. And the ventilator has a big screen, and this screen is gonna be dependent on the brand of ventilator, um, but uh, a lot of them share similar introductory settings. And for this video, the settings are going to be for volume control or pressure control. Um, we're not going to go into more advanced modes of mechanical ventilation, such as SIMV or a PRV or pressure support or what have you. This is going to be for volume control and pressure control, specifically assist, volume control assist pressure control. So with these types of settings, um, the ventilator, many of them have four options on the bottom of the ventilator. And these four options are going to be the basis of this video. And those options are going to be the PEEP, the FIO2, the respiratory rate, and then either the tidal volume or the pressure control above the PEEP. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, all four of these. So starting with the PEEP. The PEEP stands for positive end expiratory, oops, one too many E's, good for us. Positive end expiratory pressure. So positive end expiratory pressure. Lots of words. And what that is, is that is a constant pressure that the ventilator is always giving the patient, right? It doesn't matter if it's inspiration or expiration, that is the constant pressure that the patient is always experiencing, all right? If you know anything about scalars, and we've talked about this a handful of times, it's why the pressure scalar doesn't go back down to zero. If this is the pressure over time scalar, uh, and let's just say it's in volume control, you know, each breath looks something like this, shouldn't be increasing in size, but it, this is zero, and this line never goes to zero, right? Because this is the PEEP. It's the end expiratory pressure, the pressure that is always there. And most times, the PEEP is going to be somewhere between 5 to 20, and this is millimeters of mercury. And 20 of PEEP is a lot 
Five of peep is very minimal. Um, and you can go less than five, but it's not common. Five is usually the smallest amount of peep that you will set. And the peep helps with oxygenation, all right? If someone is hypoxic or they have low oxygen, increasing the peep may help them improve their oxygenation. All right, and we'll talk kind of more about that. The FiO2 is the fraction of inspired oxygen, right? FiO2, fraction of, I guess I don't need to do that for every single one, huh? Fraction of inspired oxygen. And this is the percent oxygen that the patient is getting with each breath. And if we think about what this really means, Atmospheric oxygen, just what we all breathe in at, I guess, sea level, is 21% oxygen. So on the ventilator, we can set the oxygen anywhere from 21 to 100%, right? Because 21 is just atmospheric oxygen. Many people don't go less than 40%, uh, but you can. There's no reason you can't. Um, I, I traditionally have not seen anyone go less than 30%, but you theoretically could go all the way down to 21% or atmospheric oxygen. And this also helps with oxygenation, right? If you are hypoxic or have low oxygen levels and you have to go on a ventilator, we can increase the amount of oxygen you're getting with each breath all the way to 100%, right? Up from 21%, which is what you were breathing on room air, all right? The respiratory rate, respiratory rate, is the number of breaths you're getting per minute. So someone who's just existing out in the world is usually breathing somewhere between 12 to 16 times per minute. But you can set the respiratory rate at whatever you want. Uh, we very rarely go less than eight, and even eight is incredibly low. There's some complex reasons you sometimes will go that low if someone has a very prolonged expiratory phase and breath stacking and all that kind of stuff. We actually covered that in one of the videos uh, up here, auto peep breath stacking air trapping. So check that out. We'll link it in the video description. Um, and the respiratory rate can go as high, you know, most people don't go above 32. Not to say, you know, you can't, can't, but you probably shouldn't because again, you start to get breath stacking things. 32 is very, very high. Normal, as we said, you know, NL normal is somewhere about 12 to 16 breaths per minute. Um, so you're controlling how many breaths the patient is getting per minute. The thing about respiratory rate is that uh, most of these modes of ventilation let the patients take breaths to prompt a breath. So the ventilator will kick in and give a breath if the patient is not meeting the respiratory rate that you set. And the respiratory rate helps with ventilation, right? Which is breathing off the carbon dioxide. Uh, Cause that depends on how many times you're breathing per minute, how many times you're blowing off carbon dioxide per minute. All right. And then the tidal volume, TV, tidal volume is how many cc's or milliliters of this FiO2 you sent that the patient is getting per breath, right? So the tidal volume, um, normal, most people do it um, uh, cc's per kilogram of body weight. So normal is gonna be six to eight cc's or milliliters per kilogram of ideal body weight. Um, so ideal body weight based on a person's height rather than their actual body weight. So let's just say you set this to, um, uh, it, it's really dependent on how tall someone is, but I think uh, for the sake of generalities, you know, 350 to 550, most people are going to fall within that realm. Some who are super short might be less than that. Some who are super tall might be more than that. Um, but the tidal volume is the cc's or milliliters of air you're getting per breath um, on the ventilator. And you set the tidal volume only when you're in volume control. And we've talked about this a number of times. So the two main types of, or two main modes of ventilation are volume control and pressure control. In volume control, you're setting a tidal volume. Um, in pressure control, you're setting a pressure above the PEEP. Because we said the PEEP is there all the time, positive and expiratory pressure. It's there no matter what. Um, in pressure control, you set the inspiratory pressure above the PEEP, aka you're telling the ventilator every breath, I want you to push this pressure in and whatever tidal volume that creates is what it creates. So if I set it to 20, what that is meaning is I'm telling the ventilator with every breath, I want you just to put 20 millimeters of mercury of pressure into that tube 
and whatever pressure that leads to the lungs, uh, whatever pressure, or sorry, whatever volume that leads to the lungs inflating is just what it is, right? And this is usually pressure control above the PEEP. And, you know, there isn't a normal necessarily. Uh, you typically don't want to go for both PEEP and pressure control combined, so adding these together above 30, but you can. It's not a law you can't. It just might cause some barotrauma and things. Um, so that's pressure control above the PEEP or the inspiratory pressure is um, uh, the millimeters of mercury that the ventilator is pushing with each breath. And as we've talked about in different videos, previous videos that you can check out, uh, when they're in a pressure control mode, you're not able to set a tidal volume, right? The four settings would be PEEP, FiO2, respiratory rate, and pressure control above the PEEP. When you're in volume control, you don't set a pressure above the PEEP. You just set the PEEP, FiO2, respiratory rate, and tidal volume, right? So these... Uh, this box here is going to be either tidal volume or pressure control above the PEEP, depending on your, if you're in a volume control mode or pressure control mode. All right. The mode of ventilation is typically on the ventilator somewhere, often in the top left corner, and it'll say, you know, volume control, pressure control, so maybe VC, maybe PC. And then the top right corner uh, typically will give you a peak pressure, which we can dive into in a future video. Uh, but the peak pressure is often, if you're in a pressure control, the peak pressure will often be this number. If you're in volume control, the peak pressure will be the pressure created when the ventilator pushes in that tidal volume you set. So again, probably for a future discussion. But these are the four basic or five basic settings um, for all ventilators. Um, oh, and I we should say, apologies, that the tidal volume... Uh, also helps with ventilation, right? Because if I'm setting a higher tidal volume, it means there's more cc's of gas exchange going on to help you breathe off carbon dioxide. And you might hear this sometimes, but the respiratory rate times the tidal volume is something called the minute ventilation, or how many cc's of air they get per minute, right? The minute ventilation. So that might be something you all have seen before. All right, hopefully that was an introduction to these settings. Definitely check out our other videos as uh, they kind of all build on each other uh, in terms of ventilator series stuff. Let us know what thoughts, comments, questions you have down below. We can certainly dive into each one of these things in detail, and we'll talk about peak and plateau pressures and all that jazz. So subscribe, hit the bell button. Um, let us know what other topics you might want us to hear, and in any case, stay well, keep learning. We'll see you next time.